We are going to be going to a regional competition here in Houston, top 50 most ranked schools in the nation. We were able to actually advance to nationals for the first time in school history last year for this competition. The competition has three primary objectives. The first and probably most important one is actually uh, the speed of construction. When we get there, the bridge is entirely in pieces. We have X amount of minutes to be able to put this piece together with nuts and bolts. Uh, the second is actually the weight of the bridge. How much does the bridge weigh? And uh, last but not least, they will actually be placing a load of 2,500 pounds on the bridge. It's an opportunity to apply what you learn in the classroom to a real world project. And in engineering, that's especially valuable because Essentially, we're applied mathematicians and scientists trying to solve real-world problems. And that connection between theory and application is so critical. And so the opportunity to actually manufacture components of a structural bridge designed to hold a certain amount of weight, you understand concepts of shear and moments and bending and forces and tension and compression and a lot of concepts that are somewhat abstract for lower division students. And that opportunity to work with your hands and to experience the application of a load and the deflection of a bridge, it's a learning opportunity that you simply can't reproduce. So the dedication that you actually see them here from early in the morning, from 8, eight in the morning to 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. Where students get to go and represent their school to have a sense of pride in what they've accomplished. There are strict criteria that we are expecting our students to fulfill. This is an environment that basically distills leaders 